Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Sentinel 2A takes us to the Vanuatu Archipelago in the South Pacific Ocean, roughly 1,700 kilometers east of Australia. The islands we see are Pentecost to the north and Ambrim to the south. Looking closely at the coastline, the white of breaking waves is more evident on the east coasts of the islands than on the west coasts. This is a common observation on islands that lie in a zone of the trade winds blowing mainly from southeasterly directions in the southern hemisphere. Zooming in on the dark area on Ambrim, red hot lava lakes can be seen through the clouds. This volcano has two active volcanic cones, and we can see smoke drifting out over the ocean to the west. The last time the Ambrim volcano erupted was in the year 1913, prompting the evacuation of nearby towns. Ambrim's 12-kilometer-wide caldera was created around 50 AD by a large Plinian eruption, also called a Vesuvian eruption, because of the similarity with the explosion of Italy's Mount Vesuvius that destroyed the towns of Pompeii and Herculaneum. These types of eruptions are marked by columns of gas and ash that extend high into the stratosphere. They also eject large amounts of pumice. The volcano's slopes appear black owing to the presence of basalt. As we move further away from the volcano, the land becomes greener, owing to the increased vegetation cover. Sentinel-2 is able to systematically map different classes of cover, such as forest, crops, grassland, water surface, and artificial cover like roads and buildings. This information can be used to manage natural resources to check the rates of deforestation, reforestation, and areas affected by wildfires. It can also help governing bodies and commercial enterprises make informed decisions about how to best manage, protect, and sustain our important forest resources. This image was captured by the Copernicus Sentinel-2A satellite on June 24th of last year. And that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV Studios, have a great day.